What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, got a car here. This is the ECX Tournament. This is a short course truck, two wheel drive, and it's brush system. Now this was, uh, this is one a local friend that uh, his YouTube channel being uh, racing cars and fun. So what's going on with it is first of all, it's missing the receiver. So he brought it to me and was like, hey, why doesn't this car work? I brought it to my local hobby shop and they're like, hey, you need this, this, this. And I was like, well, let me see what we're going to need for it first. So let's go ahead and take a look at this car. I already know what we're going to need for it. Well, figure let's go ahead and show you guys what's going on with it first. All right, so here's his radio that he gave me. He's like, here, if you want to try it or so. But it's missing the cover for it. It's making some rattling noises in there. So, and of course, it doesn't have the steering wheel. But I mean, so we could always put a regular, just a regular wheel on there just to make it work. But, um... He didn't have the receiver for it. I don't really see any way of binding it, but I didn't look online. So with that, I uh, would just say, we'll get, we already got one set up, so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of jump to it. So we got this Red Cat radio that's here. Already it's it's got a, it's binded to the receiver, which the receiver he didn't have for the car. It was gone. I'm not sure exactly all what happened. So we got the Red Cat receiver in here. I already got it plugged into channel two. So that's good on that part of it. I did try this before um, but we're gonna go ahead and hook it up and we'll turn on our radio first we got a little green light that's on there so I'll leave that in the background and then he's got a little switch on this back here so you notice a little light comes on as far as on the electronic speed controller but if I give it throttle see the light comes on but nothing happens it is set to nickel metal hydride it's set to its normal forward back and break what have you so that's set on there the wires are all connected but nothing happens here and even the the battery pack it's actually like at eight something volts I was checking it's like almost nine volts or something around there so it's got plenty of juice in there he just charged them up before giving them to me so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace the electronic speed controller and we got a bad servo too it's got a got a hot spot that's on there as well and right when you hook it up it just might automatically goes to the left so we got a strip gear that's in there as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, take out, let me show you what we have as far as the electronic speed controller. So here's the one we're gonna be using. So here, this is just a kind of like a rebranded hobby wing, the WP1040 brushed, it's waterproof. It's capable of two to three S, but we're gonna run this thing only on a two S because we don't wanna burn up the motor. And uh, it's got all the regular settings that are in there too, as far as it can handle the light bulb, can handle a nickel metal hydride. So he's got kind of both batteries anyhow. And uh, you know, normal, like as far as your reverse and all that stuff for it. So it's got a little on and off switch for it as well. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, mount that all in there. So let's go ahead and get this battery disconnected. Oh, man, these, those EC3s are on there pretty good. <laughs> all right. Let me go ahead and get this electronic speed controller out, put the new one in, and then we'll start working on the servo. All right, so things are looking up as of right now. We've got our electronic speed controller in, we have our receiver inside, we have our on and off switch. So we're gonna go ahead and power this on. Let's take a look, see how it's, you know, it's working so far. So radio's on, first things first. We're gonna turn on our car. Getting a lot of wobble from the right side of the rear tire is because of the fact that it needs some glue. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put a little CA glue on there so that way this car will run a little bit better uh, because it was gonna come right off the rim. So I'll do that one. So now let's go ahead and work on the servo because that's an issue in itself. So let's get that thing swapped out. All right, so when it comes to the hooking up the servo, what I want like to do is go ahead, we'll get this plugged into our channel one. So get that one plugged in. This might be a little bit fun to get, okay. So that's in there. So we got it in channel one for our servo. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. And what I'm doing here is I wanna set the servo to zero. So on here, it's gonna be like left and right is to adjust it. And you'll hear like a, I'll let you hear it anyhow. So um, let's go ahead, let's power on our radio, power on our car. 
and you can hear the servo right now. What I'm doing is, this is your left and right as far as to make adjustments, but if, if you notice, here it goes, dee -dee, it beeps a couple times, so that means it's center, so that's at zero. So that's where I wanna leave it. So now what I can go ahead and do is hook up our little steering arm right now. So that way everything's set to zero. That way there might be a little bit of adjustment, but it won't be so critical as far as if it's way off if you didn't have it set to zero from the get-go. So now that we have it in there, we got our steering going now, so making progress here now. So I'm gonna go ahead Time lapse, just me putting it all back together. Quick and simple to do. If you saw in the time lapse, super simple to get to. So nice and easy to work on. Very friendly on that part of it. It's alive. <laughs> all right, so steering's working. So yeah, we're good to go. All right, so here's what I found because I told you guys uh, that this thing needed to be C, uh, CA glue as far as to glue the wheel again. But I found all this dirt in there, sand, what have you. So I was like, all right, we got to take care of this one. So I'm going to go ahead, CA glue this thing all up. So that way it's good to go. I think the other side, yeah, the other side's still good on that part of it. So good to go. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll do that, and then we'll be done. All right, so just a quick test run to make sure everything's good to go. Kind of drop this thing with one hand. Yeah, it's good. All right, Mr. Racing Cars and Fun, your car is done, and now it's time for you to have some fun with it again. It's been a long time, I know. Been saving up. So, uh, yeah, it's good. We replaced the radio, we replaced the electronic speed controller and the receiver since it didn't even have one. The radio was pretty busted up that you gave me, anyhow. So, yeah, now you're good to go on that part of it, and uh, time to let this thing rip. I did CA glue the tires as well because you noticed in the video there was a lot of sand that was uh, accumulated into your tire. So now that's all gone. Should be running a little bit. It's going to be a little bit lighter so we don't carry in all that extra sand, that extra weight that's unnecessary. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter so you can get those promotions and all that good fun stuff when new things are coming out. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. But I'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care and thank you again for watching.